Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Claudia and for today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be unboxing this month's BoxyCharm. For those of you that aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription box that sends you five full products for only $25. But of course, that's only the base box. You also have the premium and also the box deluxe. But for this video, I'm going to be unboxing the base box only. So if this is something that you're into and would like to see how I created this look, then just make sure to keep on watching and enjoy okay so a box system always sends out like a dim card basically informing you which variation number you received for the month along with a list of all of the products that you received and a description of what they are and how they work with their pricings along the side but I didn't receive one for this month base box but I was able to find all of the products that I received on their website so I will be able to provide you guys with a little description and also the pricings for each item that I received so the first product that I received for this month and that I tried for this video is from QMS. This is how it looks like and this is an intensive eye care and this retails for $132. And it says that this is supposed to lift skin hydrated, smooth, plump, nourished, protected and youthful. Okay, so when I tried this, I actually didn't feel any burning sensation whatsoever. It felt really nice. I'm not exactly sure if this is a full size because on their website, they provide a bigger picture of this product. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep on trying this and see if I end up liking it. The next thing that I received in the box is from Laura Geller and this is a multitasking eye lip cheek palette and you guys, I actually really, really like this and this retails for $24. At first, I was like, um... Am I really gonna like this? Because I've seen so many bad reviews. Well, not bad reviews, but like I've seen so many people disappointed that they received this on their boxes or box. And I was like, why? Like, what's so wrong about it? So then I started to use it. And I first started with the middle shade, which it's the darkest and I use that to contour my face and at first I was like mm, is this really like the right shade to contour my face but once I started to blend everything out it blended out really beautifully and honestly I was really happy with it then I went ahead and used the pink cream shade from the palette and used that as my blush and lastly I used the last cream shade from the palette and used that as my highlighter and that was so 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 beautiful as well how many times am I gonna say beautiful but honestly I'm really really happy with this cream palette it's really really good so I don't know what people are complaining this is really good honestly and it's also a nice travel size palette so I'm really happy that I received this in my box the next thing that I received in the box is this eyeshadow palette from Touch and Sew and it's called Fill Up Orange and honestly the packaging is really really pretty. I really really like it. The first shade that I used is called Tarte and I used that as my transition shade. I applied that all over my crease using the Morphe M505. Then I went in with this shade right here that it's called Espresso. Then I proceeded to use this shade right here that is called Brown Sugar and I applied that all over my lid. Then I used this shade right here that it's called Caution Hot and I applied some of that on my lid using my fingertip. Then going back with the shade called Espresso, I applied some more on my outer corner. Then I went ahead and used my Morphe M506 and applied the same shade under my lower lash. Oh, and by the way, this palette retails for $32. Okay, so the next thing that I received in the box is this mascara from Lily Lashes and this retails for $24. And you guys, when this came out, I really, really wanted to try it, but I guess I kept forgetting about it and never bought it. So whenever I received this in the box, I was really, really happy that I had received it, but honestly, I felt like I have tried better mascaras than this one. I guess I had higher expectations about this mascara. I don't know, but it, it wasn't bad though. It was pretty good. And now the last product that I received in the box is this Trio Lip Liner from Beauty Volti. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, I'm really happy that I received them because I love, love, love lip liners. And I'm really happy. I mean, the shades look really close to each other, but... Uh, it does make a difference once you apply them and I'm really happy that I received these in the box and it applied really really nice very smooth and I really like how it all blended out with my lipstick I then used my Tarte and Fenty lip gloss on top of these lip liners and honestly I'm really really happy with the final result okay so that is really it for today's video I really really hope that you all enjoyed watching overall I really really loved all of the products that I received in this month's box of charm I already didn't 
an unboxing and try on on my premium so I'm gonna have it somewhere in the screen so you guys can click on it and go directly to that one video if you guys want to check it out but like I said I really hope that you all enjoyed watching and like this look that I have going on right now let me know down in the comments if you got the same products that I received I'm not exactly sure what variation number I received just let me know down in the comments or let me know what else you got different from my box don't forget to like this video and also subscribe bye